Hey, hey, hey guys, it's always good to see you back on this YouTube channel and I hope you are having a great day. Um, yeah, it's probably been a while uh, since I appeared here again on the YouTube, uh, probably about roughly three, four weeks. Um, you know, I really love YouTube and I, I really love you guys because you are the best and I really love to interact with you. Uh, but YouTube is still my hobby, there's a lot of things going on in my life um, and I was trying to run a business which is incredibly busy. And you know, looking after three small kids, and you know, there's many more things. Um, but I really love to come back here on YouTube, and I, you know, still, still will be keep doing this, uh, you know, until the videos will get views and uh, I could interact with you guys. Um, there's still a lot of content to go out, which I have already um, done. So probably what I want to talk about today is the um, Sapphire Pulse. Uh, RX 5700 XT BE, which is the value version from Sapphire, and as far as you know, probably you know Sapphire is the best brand to choose for um, from from AMD graphics cards. They are very good. They are very reliable. They have very good cooling. Um, you know, and it's, it, it has been with the previous generation uh, cards like RX uh, 570s, 580s, 470s. Uh, 480s, uh, 380s, you know, all the other cars, you know, they are premium quality and also the price is a little bit more. But there's also a value model which is roughly the same price as like um, MSI Match RX uh, 5700 and some other value models. So I gotta go in the details, um, see and talk about the performance on these cars and what's good about them, what's bad about them. Um, I hope this will be interesting for you. Let's go. So what I want to show you here today in this video is the 7 GPU rig with the 7 RX 5700 XT Sapphire Pulse BE version graphics cards. Uh, what I'm using in this system here is, oh, of course it's open air frame, 7 GPUs, um, there's, there's nothing new. I'm using the motherboard, I'm using the Biostar TB250 BTC Pro, which is the 12 GPU motherboard, seems like it's doing a decent job, um, has another uh, 5 free PCIe uh, 1X sockets. Uh, what else? So I'm running the image from the motherboard. I'm using a power supply, 1800 watt, which is a Chinese made um, power supply, so DDR4, 4 GB RAM and the Intel Celeron 3930 um, CPU uh, for this mining rig build uh, and also four cooling fans at the back of the uh, mining rig. Um, so I want to show you uh, something really interesting. Um, so the mining rig is hashing um, you know, from 57 to uh, 55 and a half depending you know, how much ore clock can handle the graphics card. Um, and you can see the temperatures are really, really uh, nice, uh, 49, uh, 45, 51, 48, 73. And I'll show you one reason why is that, because the power usage from the wall is 850 watts. That's including the cheap uh, Chinese power supply, which usually makes, um, increases the power usage uh, when you are mining. So it's using about you know 100 watts more than you would if you if you would be using about like if you would using a, a, some EVGA you know 1,300 watt power supply or even a 1,000 watt power supply is totally enough for this kind of rig uh, if you are just mining Ethereum because um, you know the power usage is really low. It's about if you're counting like this, you know, so the 50 watts uh, for the whole system. Um, and 800 watts for seven cards. That's roughly 110 watts for from the from the from from the graphics card. So, so and if there was a you know better quality power supply, there would be no problem. I would say 100 watts uh, for every graphics card. You know, which is amazing for RX 5700s. So the, the the performance is exactly the same. I mean, the power usage is exactly the same like for RX 5570 or RX 580. Just nearly double the performance. Um, so, if you have expensive power usage, so this would be the better choice of graphics cards, not like an olden gen generation. But some countries where you know maybe you have free power or the power is very cheap, 
um, you know, maybe the RX 570 or 580, the older generation cars would be more suitable for you, for you mining. And I just want to show you one thing, why the power usage is so low. The power usage is so low because these have Samsung memory. And what I have noticed, you know, I used many different cars, you know. Um, I have got only Samsung and Micron memory and all of the... Look at the memory temperature, 72, 72, 70, 66, 76, 72, 76. So all the cards, what I have noticed, which has Samsung memory, the power usage is really low. Um, so like the, 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 uh, the Micron card usually uses from 130 to 150 watts and the Samsung from one, 100 to 120, you know, there's a big difference. But the problem is, you know, when you're buying graphics cards, um, there's no serial numbers or anything that would um, identify what kind of memory on the graphics cards uh, is there installed. So you, the only way to know that is when you card installing the card in the mining, and then you would know what kind of memory is in the card. So it's a little bit like a lottery, you know, when you are starting a mining farm and buying a cards, and uh, you're seeing. Uh, when you're installing them, you're seeing a Samsung memory, you know, great news, you just win a lottery. Um, so I know I, I have seen uh, a lot of guys have complained, you know, um, oh, MSI match are horrible memory cooling. Uh, you know, the, 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 the memory is 100 and 110 uh, degrees Celsius. But let me tell you this, you know, I have also had MSI match RX 5700 XT with a Samsung memory and they are exactly the same performance um, as the uh, Sapphire Pulse and also the same power usage and there is absolutely no issues with the um, with the memory overheating so um, yeah of course the premium cards will have a better cooling pads for memory and you know some extra cooling and better uh, parts will be used that's why they are premium because the, 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 the costs are bigger but in mining you know you want to be building if you're here to make some profit um, you want to be building rigs for with the hardware cheap as possible uh, to get your investment back but of course that hardware shouldn't affect you know um, your mining farm operation if you know what I mean by that, you know, you're basically that your farm should be online all the time. So yeah, this is my review of these graphics cards and what I really um, think about them. You know, there's, you know, what I found also that, you know, these are cheaper, cheaper models and they got get a, a good bit of, if you overclock them too much, uh, they give a good bit of uh, incorrect share. So some of the cards doesn't go over 900 megahertz of a memory overclock. Some go more, some go less. Um, not like a premium card, so you know, you can overclock them more uh, usually. Um, but yeah, this was the review of the Sapphire cards. Um, you know, there's no real difference. The main difference, what you want to look for is the Samsung, Samsung uh, uh, memory on the graphics cards, what I have noticed. I really love GPU mining. I know many people are saying that you, you are better investing in the coins um, than buying a, a mining hardware for mining. You know, I, I think that mining is a long-term um, long -term investment and you are possible to mine more coins than you could actually buy in the time you invest. I can prove that, you know, I have uh, one video coming up. There's a mining rig which is still mining for me since uh, 2016 uh, it is the uh, six rx 480s eight gigabyte cards um red devils and uh you know that that rig has made a lot more you know than it could be at the time of the purchase i, I remember i started mining it the ethereum was about 10 12 uh, us dollars um uh, when i when i built that rig and you know at that time you could probably buy that you know the rig cost a little bit over 2,000 euro and at that time you could probably probably buy around 200 ethereum at that price and uh, this miner has mined a lot more than that uh, since uh, since the day I built so this is just a, a proof 
proof that you are possible to mine more coins than you actually buy them. And another, you know, why I love mining so much is that you know, you have the actual hardware, you know, which has real value. You know, I'm not talking about here about ASIC mining, you know, which is, I believe, it is useless. <laughs> uh, but I'm talking about the um, GPU mining, you know, where the actual the hardware is other purpose. You can it can be used in other purposes, not only in mining. So this is why it has real value, and this is you know one of the biggest factors why I love mining so much. So yeah, this was the review on the RX5700 Sapphire Pulse XT BE and I hope you did enjoy it. If you did enjoy it, hit that like button, share it with your buddies and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye, goodbye guys, goodbye. Mine hardcore or don't mine alone. Bye.